Brain tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you are still running Windows 11 version 21H2, uh, the original release of Windows 11 has also received an optional bug fix C release update for this month, KB5019157, which will be made available through your Windows update page. And this is more or less the same update I did post on late last week when it was in the release preview channel and now has been made available to the stable version of Windows 11 21H2. Now this update um, was rolled out on the 15th of November and if you do decide to install the update, we'll take your OS build on version 21H2 to 22000.1281. And as I always suggest, only install optional updates if you are having any problems with your system, else just ignore the update. Now, um, if we just go through a couple of the key highlights that have been made available in this latest um, update, and most of these I did mention last week, but just to do a quick recap, um, it will address um, persistent update failures from the Microsoft Store. That bug has been addressed. And then um, when the Start menu, your pinned apps um, became full in version 21H2, um, and when this happens, when the pinned apps section becomes full of apps and um, becomes cluttered with apps, it creates a new page. And um, this apparently had a bug where the Start menu stopped working and when you moved between these pages of pinned apps in version 21H2. So that bug has now been addressed. And then it also addresses an issue that affects daylight saving time in the Republic of Fiji. It cancels DST for 2022. Now, um, just to mention a couple of the other improvements, as this is a non-security update and is a bug fix update. Um, the Quick Assist app and the application, the Quick Assist app is now available for client devices. Now, on that note though, um, Quick Assist um, was discontinued and um, Microsoft discontinued support for Quick Assist, um, the original Quick Assist app in both Windows 10 and 11 earlier on this year in May, as I did post on. And um, now, um, if, if you want to download the new version of the Quick Assist app for both Windows 10 and 11, it is available from the Microsoft Store. And just to do a quick recap, Quick Assist um, enables you to share a computer over a remote connection so that you can help another person or colleague um, solve their problems remotely using the Quick Assist. And um, it's basically a remote desktop client. And um, just letting you know, you can download the new version from the Microsoft Store and um, that Quick Assist app is becoming available now for client devices with this latest update. And then just to mention a couple of other improvements, um, there were password reset fails and failures for um, 21H2 in virtual machines. Um, it also addresses an issue that affects Microsoft Direct 3D9. Um, it caused D3D9 to stop working when you use Microsoft Remote Desktop. And um, it also addresses an issue that affects the Windows Firewall service. Apparently um, it didn't start when certain users were turning on the override block rules option. So that's also been addressed. And then the last improvement just to mention for this video, it addresses an issue that affects Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. And a lot of those improvements did roll out for Windows 10 as well, because at the heart and the core, and um, the two operating systems are very similar. So you would more or less get these same bug fixes. And um, just on a side note, as I did mention previously, um, due to the holidays, um, there will be no optional updates for Windows 10 and 11 rolling out near the end of December due to the holiday season according to Microsoft and um, the optional bug fix C release updates will resume rolling out at the end of January next year 2023. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.